record button and let's actually play the game that we're here to try out shall we checking for memory card slot one we got it ea games challenge everything or don't i don't really care do what you want to do man challenge nothing if you don't want to challenge anything like that's fine you know Be a lazy piece of shit if you want. Like, it's your life, man. Have fun with it. <laughs> Those are nostalgic, though, man. What, the EA games and stuff? Or the dot hack games? <laughs> I think you need EA games. Yeah, EA games challenge everything in uh, EA Sports. It's in the game. Both of those are very nostalgic. I didn't even really care for sports games that much, but EA Sports, it's in the game. Like, come on, dude. More games should have taglines like that, or more game companies should have taglines like that whenever uh, they they boot up or whatever. <laughs> Interesting cinematic. I feel like it's not going to be like... Uh, nearly this intense whenever we actually get in the game. Pretty cool if it was, though. One of those guys looked a little bit like, you know, Mr. Potter himself. Um, but, like, all of the other characters, I didn't really recognize. Now, granted, I was only half paying attention, so, like, I don't know, maybe there were other recognizable ones there. Press start button to begin a game. Uh, inventory? Sure. <laughs> Do we got anything in our inventory? Cards, remember all. Options, there we go. Why are options in the inventory? That's weird. Center screen. There we go. Uh, back. Language select? Ah, we got... Francais <laughs> and Espanol. <laughs> I can't fuck it. I don't speak other languages. I don't know. And widescreen. Not doing widescreen. Uh, PS2 was meant to be played in 4x3, and you can never convince me otherwise. So we got Hogwarts, World Cup, and Exp. Ex ex the E word. <laughs> Exhibition. Let's check out Hogwarts. I'm assuming this is like the story here, mode. You can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows? You're over here so you can help me speak it. English? Ha! Oh, Joke's on you. I, I, I can never... I won't, yeah, I already give up. I don't know. <laughs> no. I'll never Which speak English. <laughs> to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. We got this ball called The chasers throw the quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Raven claw. points every time the quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Gryffindor. No. There's another player on each side who's called the keeper. We got Slytherin. I have to fly and we got and stop the other team from full pussy. Duration two minutes. Start pull. There you go. Listen here, you Griffovich. Ah, jokes on you. I'm not from Gryffindor either. <laughs> That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's Legit though, that's not my house either. From the bludgers and try to knock him towards the other team. Wow, well, say am I Ravenclaw? Got Hufflepuff on Pottermore. You got Ravenclaw and Legacies. Ravenclaw all the way, dude. Every test I've ever taken, Ravenclaw. To sum up so, far, so Ravenclaw it is. Try and score with the, the keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers. You are so a Huffle team. pussy. I apologize, man. But <laughs> it's okay. 
No need to, to feel down about it, dude. We can't. <laughs> you raven kind. Wow. That's just rude. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You asked for it. My heart, though. It's in pieces now. Can't believe you called me a cunt. <laughs> That's one of my favorite words, honestly. If it wasn't considered so impolite, uh, at least in America, I'd use it a lot more often. I think it's a fantastic word. <laughs> this dude isn't even paying attention. Oh, I'm sorry. Are they trying to explain how things work? There's a poll going on, by the way. I don't know if you guys took the poll or not. Like, you got like 30 seconds left. I don't know if anyone's voted on it. I never really called it out, so. <laughs> but it's there if you want to help pick what uh what we what we do here. Yeah, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, dude. Does the snitch just go back into the chest after the game? Yes. All this stuff goes back into the chest after the game. Huffle Pussy won with one vote. Did nobody else vote? <laughs> I feel like that one vote was probably Rue and nobody else touched it. Uh, I should just pick Ravenclaw anyways. Just to piss him off. <laughs> oh, it wasn't you? <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> Somebody voted. You didn't get there yet? Well, it's done now. The poll ended. I put it on for two minutes. It was Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle was the only one that saw the poll. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> oh. You're the only one who participated in class. Who would have thought Noodle would have been the one, dude? Silence! Thank you so much for the resub, my guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have a uh, any votes that you would like to put on a game, just let me know the game. It's got to be a PS2 game, of course, but, uh, yeah, you're entitled to five. Hydrate. Thank you, Silence. Silence always here to remind us to take a drink. I just got water today. Nothing fancy. Oh, God. We breeding again. Now he's happy and stoned. <laughs> also, that XP bar is a little broken, but <laughs> honestly, I, I like this one better. Yes. This one is better than what it was before. For sure. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with chat. We'll be Huffle Pussies. We want you to be fully prepared for your first match, so we'll start with some training. Our team is Even if I would prefer to be Ravenclaw, we'll, we'll go with the Hufflepuff. The only good thing to ever come out of Hufflepuff was Luna Love Good, but you know, whatever. And don't even start with Luna wasn't a Hufflepuff. Nobody will ever convince me otherwise. She <laughs> she 100% was a Hufflepuff. I know, Rue. I know. I don't care. Luna's weird as shit. She's a Hufflepuff. <laughs> I don't care what the universe says. I don't care what the official lore is. She's a Hufflepuff. So we can be a pass. Oh, these are challenges. Okay, so we're not actually playing the game yet. We just have to complete some challenges. I guess we'll just start from the beginning then. Let's Hello learn how to pass. There. Malcolm Priest. Pleased to meet you. I'm one Malcolm of Priest? Chasers. You're a this Hufflepuff chaser. Is all about passing the quaffle. Let's pass the quaffle. Let's get the quaffles. Anybody want some quaffles? With their breakfast. <laughs> Why does Quaffle sound like a terrible Brooklyn accent? If you know her epilogue, she ended up discovering new species, so you say she's a mix at least. Also, hello. Hello! Hi! <laughs> no, I, I refuse to believe it. She's <laughs> I don't actually know exactly what happened this to her afterwards, but like... Salamander Newt was a Hufflepuff. You'll just be in Hufflepuff with your one crew love. Rude, dude. These rings will cycle the Cedric. Oh. 
I, I, I think Rue thought, you know, but like, I mean, whatever. Oh, hey, there you go. Cedric is talking to us right now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, that actually, we got points for that? So hold on a second. The longer we hold X, the harder we pass. Okay, but we want to throw it through the green ones for more points or something? I don't know. Seems like when we don't pass through the rings, we were getting more points. Oh, it's a throuple. Okay. Penalties, 40 seconds. Wait, why did I get penalties? Oh, were the pluses that were popping up, were those penalties? I thought they were points. Bruh, that goes to show how much I was paying attention. Wasn't in Twilight yet. You'll accept it. Fair. Fair. That's gonna, like... He's got to carry that for the rest of his life. You know? <laughs> the fact that he was in fucking... Uh, Hufflepuff, dude. Or not in Hufflepuff shit. Well, yeah, that too. But I uh, know that he was in Twilight. You don't like her naming conventions? Wait. What are we talking about here? Oh, you mean with, like, the the quaffles and the, the Quidditches and the Seekers and Beaters and... Okay, we got cards. Cards let us do stuff. He admitted later saying when it ended, he got his dignity back. Yeah, I've seen some interviews of him, like, talking about just absolutely despising it. Like, nobody hates... The movie's the more than he does. Okay, <laughs> tackle and shoot. I got gotcha. you. Tackle an opponent and score a goal. Retrieve the quaffle from your opponent using a tackle. Then attempt to score a goal by throwing the quaffle through one of the goal hoops. Circle to shoot. X to tackle. Gotcha. This is a she kind of looks like me. Between one of your chases and a ghost. Edgar Cloaks Wait. is the ghost in question. Why are we playing against a ghost? For as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously an extremely proficient Quidditch player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with the quaffle, trying to avoid your chaser. The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar. Take the quaffle from him and throw it into one of the goals. How do we go up? Edgar will, of course, not only try to uh, press circle to shoot. Which goal is ours? Noise. Don't forget, press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range of the goal hoops. Do your best. Get fucked. I wonder if we hold circle, if we can like do a harder shoot, kind of like how we can. No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's go. Three for three. Well, kind of. <laughs> we got three points. That's all that matters. Bruh. Credit Karma keeps reminding me to file my taxes. And, like, I know. Trust me. I haven't forgotten. I need to do it. It's just a pain in the ass, man. Between, like, Twitch and stocks and crypto and work and all that BS. Just, I hate, I hate it. I hate taxes so much. <laughs> Tallest goal was most points? Yeah, for, like, the actual game. But right now we're just doing the training or whatever, so. Seeker. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Cedric Diggory. I'm the captain of Hufflepuff and a team seeker. Hi, Mr. Ready Dig. To learn about being a seeker? Bro, I might have to take a short break. My stomach is not happy with me all of a sudden. And it's kind of hurting, not going to lie. We've been live for about an hour. It's not a bad time. reservation. And because I'm a seeker, this... I have been asked to catch it. This is an excellent opportunity. Yeah, we're going to have to take a quick break. That thing looks a little more bird-like than I would have expected. But uh, anyways, be back in just a couple minutes, guys. Well, probably like three to five minutes.
Did they turn that into a right? It looks completely wrong, man. Like, <laughs> it looks like a freaking bird. It's so weird. Anyways, BRB. Doesn't since we own a stand mixer it doesn't take that much extra time to just make our own dough so that's probably what i'm gonna do in the future is just make my own it's just uh like 20 minutes you know to throw everything in the bowl let it let it mix up and then let it proof while you're like preheating the oven or whatever whoa doc's alive everyone hi doc wait you're not a zerk who are you that's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Since we're on the topic, what the heck makes a good chicken sandwich? I have the pre-cooked chicken stuff, and I made a sandwich with provolone cheese, miracle whip, and red onions, but I can't think of anything else to put on it. Um... So if you have the pre-cooked chicken in a can, I would make a chicken salad out of it. Uh, so like shred the chicken as finely as you can. Mix it with your Miracle Whip and onions, uh, like finely diced onion right in it. Uh, some pickle in there, a little bit of mustard. And then if you like hot sauce, a little bit of hot sauce is really good in it as well. Um, Noodle and I are both big fans of vinegar, so we also put, like, a little bit of vinegar in it. But, like, I understand vinegar is not necessarily for everyone, though. Got the frozen version. Does it still count? Uh, probably. I've never done it with the, the frozen stuff before, but, I mean, I, I would just, you know, warm it up, shred it to hell and back, and, yeah, it would probably be pretty good. I don't see why not, honestly. Uh, the, the frozen stuff that i get has more flavor than like the canned or bagged stuff so i mean if anything it would probably just make it taste a little bit better i've seen humans wear costumes like this they were small and running around making lots of noise oh yes i remember now they were children the streets felt much more alive with them even with the difficulty they brought the adults seemed to love them very much doc says he misses seamus is that the same thing I mean, not exactly, little little dude, but it's, like, similar in some ways, I guess. Okay, I'm assuming we're still looking for, like, the fuse or plug or whatever. Probably blitz it up in the food pro processor. <laughs> blitz it up in the food processor. Holy hell, why is that so hard to say? My only worry with doing that, um, is that, like, blitzing up in the food processor, it may make it, like, too small, you know? I, I mean, I guess if you did, like, a very short blitz on it or something, it would probably be okay, but I wouldn't want it to turn into, like, mush, you know? Like, <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Also, I'm sad to say that provolone cheese is definitely not my favorite, but you couldn't find any American. I'm not a huge fan of American, actually. The only time I like American cheese is to put it in, like, uh, mac and cheese or something like that. I do like a little bit down in there. And then burgers. That's about it. Provolone is one of my least favorites, too, honestly, though, as I see Mr. Noodle saying. Um, but, like, <laughs> uh, now I'm more of a fan of, like, cheddar and colby jack and and uh pepper pep is it pepper jack yeah pepper jack stuff like that but like yeah it's my instant pot of food processor i forgot no food processor is like a really fancy blender careful with that defluxer at full charge it can explode zerks like confetti let's go dude this baby needs 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> to work and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house is he meant to look like doc from back to the future i noticed that you you said something like that I think maybe they were basing it off that kind of thing, honestly. This baby need. Oh, yeah, we already read that. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach a generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Yay! So he's <laughs> gonna give us the fuse that we need then. I'm trying to see what kind of card this is. It's PCIe. Mm -hmm. 
I don't see any connectors on it though. Is that VG oh wait no, is that VGA? It looks like it might have a VGA connector on the back of it. Ancient graphics card. Nana has a blender but never uses it. Honestly, like we have a couple blenders and we hardly ever use those either. We use Dude, why do you have Xerxes as pets? <laughs> I guess to study. We uh we use it every once in a while for like to blitz up uh like chocolate chips or ice cream. I think is the last thing we use it for just to mix our ice cream base together or whatever, but yeah. Take this fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. Just need to follow this cave. We'll change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Thanks, bro. Mozzarella balls? Mozzarella balls would be good. Or mozzarella sticks. I'm all for the mozzarella sticks. Like Rue was saying, man. Mozzarella balls are good, don't get me wrong. But sticks? Dip it in some marinara sauce? Let's go, dude. Just pulse it a few times. Yeah, if you put it in a blender or the chicken in a blender or anything like that, you definitely don't want to want to like uh, just leave it on and forget about it because it'll it'll yeah <laughs> I can't imagine that it'll end up being good. You'll end up with like that uh that pink goo from Teletubbies that they always try to say are actually chicken nuggets or whatever. <laughs> oh, the little balls! Like whenever you uh for anyone who doesn't know, you can buy mozzarella like little balls and they come in a bag or, or a tub and they're they're in a brine whenever you buy them and like yeah noodle really likes those they're okay they're not my favorite i'd rather eat like honestly if i'm just eating mozzarella i'd rather it be like string cheese or something but you did successfully make chicken wraps though man i just ate food don't make me hungry <laughs> You mean cheese curdles? Yeah, no, no. These are literally... It's literally just, uh... Balls of mozzarella. Oh god, we're gonna die! Ah, uh, no, I can't jump! We're dead. We're so fucking dead. Yep. <laughs> Wait, go back? Why do I need to go back? What happened? What I... <laughs> Oh, is he shooting shooting them with it? Is that what that is? Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to help me. Oh, once he kills them all, he goes on to the next area. Dope. Okay. Can I get like a mini version of this to to strap to my back or something? God, I'm lost. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> I lost the cable. We went through. Okay, yeah, we we got to go up here. This is right, and then the window's right here. I ran right past it. You don't go up the stairs. I got it. I didn't realize that's what that was, man. I thought it was like, I don't know, the Zerks got intelligent suddenly and were, were seeking me out or something, man. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Let's go, dude. Give me a portable defluxer. Let me kill them bastards. I have to turn on my AC. I'll be RB. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. This guy thinks my drone is fancy. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Something that I ate was not uh, <laughs> sitting too well with my stomach. Apparently. But, uh, yeah, no. My apologies. <laughs> Peeps Pepsi is weird. It's thicker than regular Pepsi. Did they literally just take some Pepsi and like... What the hell? How does this control? And dissolve some freaking... 
uh, marshmallows in it, some peeps. Center of trail to boost, okay. They're saying something, but honestly, I can't really hear them. There we go. We got the snitch. School record beaten three Quidditch cards won. Hell yeah, dude. First match has been unlocked. Cool, cool. Does that mean we actually get to play, like, Quidditch now? You know, <laughs> the, the namesake of the game here? That would be cool. I would like that. Choose a save? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just keep saving over that one. Pepsi with some marshmallow in it. That doesn't sound particularly good, to be honest, dude. Of course, I'm also not a... I like marshmallows, but I'm not a Peeps fan. Like, at all. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's the type of marshmallow they use or the sugar dust on the outside of it or what it is. They just... They don't do it for me, man. You've done really well to have successfully completed... Do not like Peeps. Challenges. And I think you're ready to play your first real Quidditch match. Why is my mic being dumb, dude? Hold on. Do I have NVIDIA broadcast set up right? Yes. Yes, I do. Noise removal on. Uh. Okay. Seems to be working, at least as of right now. I don't know. NVIDIA broadcast is weird sometimes. Sometimes it works wonderfully, and then sometimes it seems like it just stops working. And I'm not, like, sometimes it crashes. I'm not even talking about when it just randomly crashes. It's, I don't know, it's weird. You like peeps? That's because you're weird. <laughs> I love you, but you're weird. Only the team with the most points wins the Quidditch Cup. Remember from here, you can replay any Hogwarts house team to better your score. Uh... Okay, I guess we'll just go down the line. The first one's Ravenclaw, so... Let's face Ravenclaw, then. Broomstick control, shoot action. Do we get to pick our position? Because I, I, I kind of want to be a seeker. But I don't know if we get a choice in the matter. Seamus is a well-known Quidditch expert. That's new. Honestly, was not aware of that information. Uh. Wait, how do we? Okay. Nice. Uh, get wrecked. <laughs> Can we switch positions? Oh wait, we're just right into it again. Oh, you, how did you kick me? How do we throw it? Ah, oh, you bastard! Let's go. So, like, is it just, like, in the books and stuff where the match doesn't end until somebody catches the seeker? Or, I'm sorry, catches the snitch? Because, like, if that's how it works, how how, how long's a match of this, man? Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like we can change positions. Bro, this is honestly, like, way too easy. <laughs> it's so easy to steal the the, the the quaffle or whatever the hell it's called. Ah, you bastard. Take that back. Thank you. I'll take that. And another point. That's mine. 
I would love to just end the match. Like, can we just become the seeker? Continue vibration, quick game. No. Oh, shoot. I threw that. I meant to throw it in the top one. Let's go. Bruh, it's 80 to nothing. Can we just call it game already? How much is the, the snitch worth again? Uh, it seems like every goal is actually worth the same points, at least in this game. I thought Rue was right, where, like, the, the highest goal was worth more points or whatever, but... Doesn't seem to be the case here. Bruh. <laughs> How do we end this? This is just torture. Can I just like... Okay. Can I just ignore? No. I was thinking maybe we could just like ignore the... Uh, the quaffle and just try to get this the snitch but no snitch is victory technically it's not an automatic victory with the real rules of quidditch um it gives you a boatload of points but if somebody if like the other team is far enough ahead you can technically get the snitch and not win the game it's just not common to happen and the game doesn't end until someone catches the snitch. But, like, is my teammate even trying to catch the snitch? Because I've gotten 14 goals so far. Ravenclaw's gotten zero. And as far as I can tell, there's no way for me to switch to, to try and catch the snitch. So I'm very confused about how this how this all works. Somebody said something about the snitch that time. Ah, oh, you bastard. Mine. Where's the beaters at, man? It's like 100, isn't it? I can't remember how many it's worth. I know it's a fair bit, but I can't remember how much. I wanted to say it was like 240 or something ridiculous, but I honestly don't remember. I could be completely wrong on that. Ooh. I kind of feel bad for him, man. I feel like <laughs> we should let them <laughs> at least get one score, one goal. Ah, oh, you bastard. There we go. You actually made it halfway down the uh, down the pitch here. Good job on that. Okay, it's 180 to zero. Nice catch, nice catch. How do you kick people? Oh, okay, so you can dodge with with square. Triangle doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if the uh, the right stick you can throw with. I did notice that whenever we were doing the uh, the challenges. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, we're fine. So it seems like you can actually pick which direction you want to throw it using the stick, which is interesting. Let's go! Bro, I hope the whole game isn't this easy. I'm trying every button here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of them do anything. 
Oh, they intercepted. They might get a point. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, nice catch. I'll take it back, though. It's too easy. Bro, come on. This is just embarrassing for Ravenclaw right now. So maybe, like... I see, like, there's a bar that's filling up or something. So maybe there has to be so many points total. And then the, the snitch will be released and we can try to catch it. Yeah, because it looks like the snitch is slowly getting closer and closer to being full. So I'm guessing now the snitch will be released. Yeah, okay. So the snitch has appeared. So now we're in chase mode? Yes. Oh no. Oh my lord, dude. They're way ahead of me. Let's go. That's mine, dude. <laughs> Snitch is 150. Okay. So even if Ravenclaw had caught it there, I should have technically won. But we got the snitch anyways. Hopefully it gets harder. So that first match was embarrassingly, embarrassingly easy. 400 to zero. <laughs> like, bro, come on. That's just, that's bad. <laughs> we finally found a sports game that I'm good at, though. It just has to be a fantasy broom riding ball catching sports game, obviously. Yeah, we'll save over that one. That's fine. Oh, you brought up the gross Pepsi? It smells like vanilla Pepsi with shit in it. Not literal shit, but like with something else in it. We are at the top oh, of that's, the league. Oh, that's that's bad. Does it have cinnamon in it? It tastes like it has some sort of spice in it, along with marshmallow. It does have a strong marshmallow kind of finish, like a fake marshmallow-like flavor, but it's way too, way too syrupy, way too sweet for me. I also don't drink pop though, unless it's diet pop. So, and even then it's pretty rare. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not for me. Oh, you know what it tastes like? It's not cinnamon. It tastes like cereal marshmallows. The, the, the good marshmallows that are in cereal. That's what the finish is like. You've got Lucky Charms what? Yo play. Ooh, Lucky Charms yogurt. How fancy. Unless it tastes like their, their marshmallows. I don't really care. Yeah, uh, see, like, dumping Lucky Charms into... Oh, I just want the marshmallows. I just want, like, a bag of Lucky Charms marshmallows. I, I know that's something that they were selling. I don't know if they still do or not, but that that would be heaven right there until I died of diabetic shock or something. But, um... <laughs> bah. Thanks for letting me try your gross drink. You said it was thick. How's that not bad? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. If it wasn't so sugary, maybe. Anyways, let's try house challenges, beaters and bludgers, shall we? Let's beat and bludgeon people. It's part of the sport. It's okay. Learn how to use your beaters. Fly around the area and seek out the targets. Once you found one, launch a bludger at it. Oh boy. Okay. So wait, what are we actually doing here? 
Press square to launch a bludger. Use the broomstick control to explore the area. Press and hold the bludger button. And bang the bludger towards the target. Oh, we're supposed to knock it towards the target? Oh, that was close. Oh, bro, this one's actually kind of hard. There we go. Okay. There's two. Use L to control the bludger. Oh, man, this is <laughs> not easy to control. There we go. Uh, let's go. Wait, what? Why did we only get a yellow on that one? We hit the goal. Ow. Well, never mind. It's red now. I'm assuming we got hit. That one's yellow, too. Or maybe it's yellow until we successfully avoid it. Well, <laughs> we didn't, but whatever. A college card. I knew we could do it. Penalties 30 seconds. Yeah, whatever. We got hit a couple times. What's a bludger to the face at the end of the day, you know? Quidditch wouldn't be Quidditch if you weren't breaking a couple bones. It's crazy that this is a kid's game, man. Like, <laughs> chance of falling to your death from great heights? Check. Chance of having every bone in your body broken by enchanted heavy balls <laughs> check <laughs> sounds like a good game for kids man I like it I like it alright what's the final one special moves Hi, I'm Tamsin Appleby I'm a chaser for the Hufflepuff team I'll tell you about dodging hi Appleby uh, I was gonna say I like your restaurants but I don't think I actually do <laughs> So dodge is triangle, and then special move is circle. I'm assuming if we're like not close enough to the it hoops is a or one whatever. One challenge between one of your chasers and our ghostly friend, Edgar Clogs. So what are we trying to do here? Are we trying to Set press circle to launch an extra? Oh. Press and hold the special move button and steer the target over clogs. Release the button. To okay. Tackle. Use the dodge button to avoid them and the short button to watch So we're just trying to, to score, but we're using our special move. How do we... Can I just tackle this dude? Just let me take the ball. I don't care. <laughs> Press circle to launch special move. Did I, did I do it, Dad? I mean, we were doing just fine before without special moves, so I don't feel like we actually need it. Bro, let me just steal the freaking ball. I don't... Dodge. Ah! Uh, ah! <laughs> just shoot it, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> why do all this stupid stuff? We don't need any of this stupid crap. We can just tackle people, steal the ball easily enough. Get your force to play until the snitch is caught in all kinds of weather too. Yeah. Also good for children. What's a what's a thunderbolt strike or two when you're, you know, 14, 15 years old? That's fine. <laughs> when you're that young, I don't know how many watts of power run through a, a lightning bolt, a thunder but a lot. <laughs> it has no effect on you, man. Everyone knows kids are actually invincible, so it's fine. Do we get to play another match now that we did all of the challenge stuff? I guess we could look at our inventory. Select special moves in the inventory to view all the moves you have unlocked so far. Press R1 plus L1 plus circle within the scoring zone to perform a special moves shot. R1, L1, and circle? Why? <laughs> like, why make that so complicated? Volley? Volley 2, L1 double tap X. Oh my god. Come on, distant charge? 
Dionysus Dive, Sabrin Steel. What is all this, man? The game has to get harder at some point, because otherwise all of that's just going to be completely irrelevant. Oh, and before I forget, uh, what we're going to do instead of um, Civ for, for at least for a little while, I don't know how long exactly, but Optijack and I are going to be playing Grounded, uh, that survival game where you're like a child that's been shrunk down to the size of an ant. Uh, we played a little bit of it on stream before. Um, we're both wanting to play another Civ game, but we need to get all that set up and whatnot, and we both have just been itching to play Grounded. So, uh, now that I have thoroughly kicked his ass in Civ 6, we're going to play that for a little while, and then we'll go back for at least one more game of Civ 6. At least. We really don't need this intro cutscene. Is there any way to... Away we go. Special move. Dodge. Special move. Shoot. Oh, damn. He got it. The game actually going to get harder all of a sudden? Oh, damn, dude. Nice. Where am I? So what was it? L1, R1? I mean, I don't know if I actually did any special moves there, but like okay, do not why is like dodge and stuff keep showing up on the screen ah, oh, I thought I could juke him should have had me get you chips I mean, I would have got you chips I didn't know you wanted it Although, I was already a little bit late picking you up, so I don't know if I really would have had time to get you chips, but I mean, we could have tried. Bludger? Where's the bludger at? Oh, shit, dude. I really need to pay attention to, like, where their keepers at and try to not throw the whatever it's called the quaffle right at their fucking goalie this is insanely easy you might make popcorn but you don't know if you feel like it if you do make popcorn feel free to make a little bit extra I'm happy to eat some popcorn we're probably going to call it after this match anyways. I don't know, like, other than facing the other houses, I don't know if there's any more to the game or not. But, like, as is, this is just too easy to want to wanna continue playing. Like, I plus pressed L1, R1, and circle. It didn't seem to do anything different, though. Oh, I do have a couple chips left. You're right. Yeah, that's fine, love. I can eat those. Not a bludger! The, okay. Well, the bludger didn't seem to do anything. So, whatever. I'll take that ball. Thank you. This is... This is a video game that exists, man. The only real problem with it is difficulty, which I, I have to assume will ri rise later on. Other than that, like, it seems functional. I'm a little bit confused on how the special move system and everything works. Because, like, I'm pressing buttons, L1, R1, circle, doesn't seem to be doing anything different. And, like, underneath each person's score up there, different things appear, which seem to let me do, like a charge and things like that but like so can I only do those things like the dodges and stuff whenever the game decides it's okay to do them but then like why does it show it underneath the other team score too if, if that's the case you know like 
Why do I need to know that they have the ability to charge right now? Doesn't make much sense to me. You'll wait till I'm done so I can season it myself. But like I said, it's fine. I'll just eat my chips. I honestly forgot that I had some Fungians left. So I'm fine with just eating Fungians. You can make yourself popcorn. You don't need to make me any love. Why are y'all chanting for Slytherin? They're not even close to winning, dude. Slytherin sucks, obviously. You don't see them doing backflips on their broomsticks. Yeah, I'm sure, though. Like I said, it's fine, really. What was it? We got to get to 250, I think, before the snitch is released. That was, a, I was going to say, that throw was from too far away. That ain't going to work. Just got to get right up on it. Juke him a little bit. So it seems like the AI is pretty simple. It's just whichever one you're targeting is the direction they go to. The hoop they go to. So as long as I just like head for the right one and then switch to the left when you get close, it's like pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get in there. Why is the Slytherin snitch farther along than mine when I'm the one that has all the points? Did it move that time? Maybe it's not guaranteed to be, like, at 250 points. Oh, there's a bludger. Oh, I got hit. It's fine. I got it back again. 230? Okay. I think it moved that time, at least. Two forty? Yeah, no, it's definitely like, is it time based? I'm very confused on how this all works. I thought it was just number of points. Maybe it's like somewhat randomized or something. I still don't understand why the Slytherin one's so much farther along than mine, though. Like, at this point, even if they catch the snitch, it's not going to matter, man. Like we're so far ahead. They have a purple bat and mothman squish at Hot Topic, and they're so cute. I don't understand the obsession that a lot of people have with Mothman. Seems like we can charge up our shots now that we have the, the circle thing underneath our whatchamacallit. I'm assuming we just throw it faster when we get it charged up. So my guess, I still don't really know, but my guess is that whoever's snitch indicator is farther along, they get to start closer to the snitch whenever it releases. Like, during our, our first match against Ravenclaw, it was 50-50, right? It was right in the middle. But this time, it's like Slytherin's way in the lead as far as that goes. Okay, it's very close to, to closing. Oh, okay, yeah, it just released in the middle of nowhere. So it has nothing to do with score. It must be time or something. Oh, that's like the maximum boost that you can get. 
That's what it is. Interesting. Okay. So Slytherin gets much more boost than me right now. Oh my god. Who got it? I got it. I got it. Get wrecked. What's that make the score? 500 to zero? <laughs> like, bruh. That's what you get for making Draco a uh, captain, man. Hufflepuff wins 480. 480 to zero. Get wrecked, my guys. That's interesting. It's not a bad game. It's just too easy. But, uh, again, I assume that it would probably get harder the farther you get into the story. I guess what we can do after we save real quick before we hop off. Excuse me. There was, like, uh, the exhibition mode or whatever. Maybe we can pick a difficulty or something there to see what the game would, would be like later on in the, the campaign. At the moment, Hufflepuff is at the top of the league. Yeah, I'd say, man. We have two wins, zero losses, zero ties or whatever. And we're leading the next highest team, which is Slytherin, by 580 points <laughs> overall. <laughs> Bruh. They kind of suck. All of them. They suck major quaffles. Wait, we're back at house challenges again? Oh, it unlocked a new one. Combos. Yeah, I don't care right now. Back. I want to see what the exhibition mode's like. We got World Cup. You have not yet won the Quidditch Cup at Hogwarts. Okay, you have to win the Quidditch Cup first to do World Cup. What's the exhibition mode? Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Oh, England, USA, Japan, Germany, France, Australia, Nordic team, Spain, Bulgaria. Uh, let's do Japan versus. Can we do like. No, okay. I was wondering if we could do, like, freaking Ravenclaw versus Japan or something weird like that, you know? <laughs> like, a bunch of school kids versus pros. Um, oh, we get to pick our our broom, too. So you got the Firebolt, Nimbus 2001, Nimbus 2000, and Comet 260. Right now, we only have Nimbus 2000 and Comet 260 unlocked, so... Nimbus 2000 it is, I guess. English, American, Japanese, German. Oh, this is all locked. So which ones are unlocked? English and American. Uh, I mean, you see a bunch of English ones in like the movies and shit. So let's try the American one. Just to see if it looks any different. I'm expecting all of the wizards to have guns. And every time someone makes a goal, they just start shooting it off randomly. Um, uh, the field looks a little like, is this just somebody's garden? <laughs> that's, that's what it's looking like, man. It's looking like this is just somebody's fucked up garden or something mixed with a football field. Oh, and it's Halloween themed with, with pumpkins and shit out there. Interesting. Turns out the game's not any harder, though. Uh, okay, they did catch that more easily, but we can still get the ball back so easily, dude. I don't know if we're going to finish this match. I just wanted to see if, like, playing with the pros, it got harder. It doesn't look like it does. Exactly the same strategy. Not using any special moves. None of that BS. Just passing occasionally, getting really close to the goal, and throwing it in. That's all you gotta do, dude. Oh, wait, do I have the ball? Oh, I do have the ball. Can we charge? We can charge. 
So wait, does that mean like our special moves and stuff all work too? No. No, we can just charge the ball for some reason. Interesting. Just mash the X button to get the ball back. Ooh, nice catch. I got it back, though. Oh, shit. He threw it right at the, the keeper that time. Get wrecked. So it's maybe marginally harder. Maybe. Not enough for it to really matter, though. Nice catch. Okay, I guess I should actually try instead of just constantly mashing the X button. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Conclusion. Game too easy. That's that's all I need to know. It's fun though. Like it's it's a It'd be cool if there was a more modern version of the the Quidditch game like made. I think that'd be fun. As it stands, I don't really see the point in playing this one through to completion cuz it's just going to be an exercise in patience more than anything else cuz of how easy it is. So it's just like whatever, you know. Anyways, though, today is Thursday, so tomorrow, OptiJack, my brother, and I will be playing some Grounded on stream. Anybody who's interested in that, I hope to see you there. In the meantime, everyone, thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. I do appreciate you all, uh, but until next time, have a good night, everyone, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.